Hey everybody, my name is Katem, welcome back for another video of Star Wars The Old Republic. We're back for some more. I've uh, had some time to chill out since the last video. I, I swear the last video was something else, boys, but I'm ready to uh, to do this. I'm ready to start this thing up and to go on uh, an adventure, boys. So let's do this shit. Uh, we are going to do the next flashpoint, probably, or the next part. Of the new DLC, the new expansion. So let's do this shit. Uh, where do I have to go exactly? I have to go on this side right here. Yeah. So we're going to uh, interact with... Uh, well, we're going to start the mission up. I don't know who's uh, who's it going to be about. Probably Darth Rivix again. Uh, we're in the middle of that. The whole um, Darth Malgus thing. I'm still curious about that Mandalorian uh, setup that they did. The, se the Civil War and everything. I'm still curious about that whole thing though. Good. You're here. But is if, if it isn't uh, uh, Lana Benico, boys, I would probably switch After her costume off eventually. Dantley, I no feel like uh, it's kind of weirding Darth me out a little bit. Darth the color is not the or not fitting anymore. At work searching for clues about Malgus's objectives. Unfortunately, nothing has yet turned up. Well, is, does anyone know anything at all? If this is all you've got for an update. Let's hear from someone else. Otherwise, we're wasting my time. I think this is something you'll find intriguing. Okay, recording started. Date stamped. Encryption is working. There's a Shea Visla. I've got an update on my Look who it is, theme. boys. Shea Visla herself. Responsible for attacking the Spirit of Vengeance, too. I want to be clear. My only goal is finding this traitor. And I need the Alliance's help following up. I'm sure Hedda's group, the Hidden Chain, has established a permanent base. Location unknown. I need to know who is supplying her and how. I've included my findings in this transmission. Do this, and I owe you. At my end, I'm running down a slippery recruiter with links to Hedda. I have a local Dermanda and Meksha to thank for the lead. Tell the commander their old friend Indigo sends his best. Indigo, right. really? I'm landing in a few minutes, I need to go dark. Okay. This recruiter has led me on a real chase, and I won't let him escape again. Shay out. We've done some preliminary work with Shay's intel, but we need an asset on the ground. The closed nature of the Mandalorians makes gathering information challenging. Have we got someone in mind? Torian Kadera is on a mission with Ras Ordo, but there is another option, a Carvi Spa. No affiliation with other clans, in fact, no strong ties to any major faction. But a reputation for getting results. Thoughts? Alright, so no affiliation and everything ties to any major faction. Uh, I, I wasn't paying any attention, boys, because my dog, one of my dogs, needed to go outside. I swear, when I have my own house, I am not gonna have any dogs. I, li I like dogs, I love dogs. But well, having one in your life is a pain in the ass, boys. Uh, it really is sometimes. Uh, you cannot do videos with dogs, that's for sure. Uh, so send her. I, I trust your judgment. Uh, let's find another way. Mm, uh, whatever, send her, I guess. I don't know what she said, but send her. Do whatever you need to do. Sounds like she can do the job. One complication is finding her. If she's our choice, we need you to track her down. Start your hunt on Tatooine. We have reports coming in that sound promising. When you locate her, we'll do the rest. Keep me posted. What else have we got? That's all for now, Commander. I'll notify you if anything changes. Okay, so... Wait. Is there another thing? Really already? Commander, Imperial Sector Command of the Balmoran system has contacted I mean, us. We're supposed they to go to Tatooine for that whole thing, apparently. But... A shipment out of Balmora. Did they stop them? Sector Command dispatched ships and reduced nearly half the weapons to rubble before the enemy fled. A solid victory. Well, not good enough, I guess. It should have been the entire ship that's done. Reach out to Imperial Command. Find out why this failure occurred and how to correct it in the future. At once, Commander. It's definitely not clear, not good enough, I mean... She said half the ship. It needs to be the entire ship that's done for. Alright, is that it? Is that all right now? Alright, so we've got something. So we can... Tr we we have to travel to Tatooine. To look for the signs of the bounty hunter. We're about to... 
Why can't I not just do this myself? I'm a bounty hunter after all. I could literally do the mission myself, but whatever, I guess. We're gonna recruit another bounty hunter. This is gonna turn out like the Boba Vett show, boys. Not a good sign. All right, uh, we've got some mi a message. I'm gonna read my mail as soon as I can. Also, we got Whispers in the Force, uh, which is the next mission. Uh, I should probably go to head out to Tatooine first, though. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, where's Tatooine at? Open the galaxy map really quick, boys. Uh, one more thing I needed to show you is we can actually go to uh, our anger as well now. If we uh, take a look right here, uh, where is it at? Activity, there we go. So we have our ship hangar as well that we can go to. For some odd reason, I don't know why, but it's interesting. Uh, so let's just go back, open the, the stuff. We're going to go to Tatooine, boys, why not? Let's do this. Uh, it's gonna. It's been a while since we've been there as well. All right, go. Now it doesn't really make sense the fact that I have Shay Vizla with me because she contacted me and she's in the middle of doing something, but it all works out for me. All right, I'm gonna have her uh, with me. I, I want to have her as a, uh, as the, my companion and stuff. Uh, let's just go to Mosaila uh, and see what's uh, what's up, boys. So. Is she in here? Is she in Mos Eisley? Uh, or I guess... Oh, she is. So she is in the spaceport, boys. Interesting. Or in the, the city itself. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, try and uh, locate her so we can recruit her. Doesn't surprise me that she's in Tatooine of all places. Of course, this is the, uh, the location of... Uh, the, the best location to hide if you're... Or to get some contracts if you're a bounty hunter. The best place, boys. Now, where could she be at? So, travel to look and look for the bounty hunter. Where could he, Where could she be at? I mean, she could be anywhere, really. Oh, there we go. I mean, she's she left some uh, some marks. In the middle of the city, though? Kind of weird. Let's keep moving. We'll find her eventually, boys. Uh, I don't know if I have actual Baby Yoda with me or Grogu. Like the uh, the pod and everything. I don't know if I have it with me right now. Have to see. Is this in here? Nope. No, no, it's not in here. Gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. That's not the right place. Oh, right here. Right here, boys. There's a bunch of markers right here. She's clearly taking a... Um, we can clearly follow her path. I mean, we know where she went at. She's leading a path big time. Is there any other markers nearby? Might be right here, actually. What's going on here? Is this... Come are you on. the one I'm looking for? We can talk about this. Sorry, buddy. The credits talk louder. <laughs> State your intent, or meet the same fate as him. Wait, either my implants are malfunctioning, or it's really you. Yes, it is me. It's been a while, Mako, isn't it? It's been a while. It's been a while since we've seen her, boys. My very first companion. Uh, she, we finally see her. What, what do you, what do you know? What well, do you have some explaining to do? You, yeah, you do have some explaining to do. What the fuck have you been doing this entire time? And why haven't you joined me for the Alliance? You better have an airtight reason for not tracking me down. Don't worry, I do. I think. I hope. Akavi, could you give us a minute? I'll be outside if you need me. I see you've got yourself I another you companion. I tried to leave hunting behind. I couldn't handle it. Then the credits ran dry and Torian left to deal with the Mandos. I started taking bounties again just to stay afloat. It wasn't going well. One day I tracked a target all the way to Hoth. First one to find him, but... I couldn't pull the trigger. Then Akavi dropped in and shot the guy without a second thought. It says since she followed me in, we'd split the bounty. We've been running together ever since. Seems like you make a solid team. Akavi taught me to stop hesitating and just follow my gut. And we have a rule. Bad guys only. But it hasn't been the same without you. 
I want to join you again, like the old days. I want a Kavi to come too. You'd like her. She's a tough one, just like you. So, what do you say? Are we a team again? Well, we could be a team. Uh, but I don't know about her. Two for one deal, huh? Yeah, two for one. Look, um... If you keep her in check, because we don't know for fact if she's a spy. She could be a spy for all we know. Well, I, I, I can't really trust Ma Mako either, for, to be honest, boys. She is a bounty hunter after all, just like me. Nobody can be trusted in that, uh, in that uh, when you have that job. But uh, I guess I'm just going to say two for one deal. So I get two more fighters out of this deal. Can't beat that. Trust me, you're getting the best the galaxy has to offer. Just you wait. This will be our greatest adventure yet. The future is looking up. If you say so, it looks like we've recruited our boys. So if I hadn't gone to Tatooine, I wouldn't have uh, gotten Mako, Mako uh, back. So she's back, boys. What do you know? This entire time she was just hiding in Tatooine. But I know, boys. Now, if I go there... I can now get her, right? Is she in here? She's here. There we go. There she is, boys. 18. She's uh, one of the most... Uh, aside from Darth Rivix, for some reason, and uh, Ras Ordo. She's the one that uh, has a lot... Uh, the, the most charisma with me, obviously. Very interesting. So, I mean, look at that. I mean, that's kind of cool. If I summon her really me. quick, though, uh, what the outfit does she have? She has her regular new outfit, uh, which I'm kind of interested in. I want to look at her a little bit closer. Uh, it's a nice outfit, but uh, I'll, I kind of want to have her as my companion, to be honest. She's been there with me the entire time. Uh, as much as I like Shea Vizla, I like uh, Ma Mako. She's a nice little uh, character, so I might end up... I'm going to... I'm going to buy a costume for her. Oh, wait. We've got this. They gave me this for some reason. Oh, she has it with us. Uh, with her or something. Okay. Yeah, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy myself a costume. I don't need this, though. The Forge Master. Uh, well, I could always give her, to, uh, give her that as well. I mean, give her the Forge Master really quick. There we go. Give her the Forge Master outfit as well. But I'll give her another outfit. I don't want anybody to have the same outfit over and over again. Uh, this blaster, she can have that one. The forge, uh, the blockbuster. And she's going to have to... I mean, I don't care about the blaster itself. So she can have that and she can have the crystal as well. There we go. Now, she's going to be fine with that. Uh, the thing is, I want some dye. I want to use a, a dye and stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, did, it, did it work? Did I switch her off? Yes, I switch her off. Uh, I, I need a die. So we're going to buy a die for her. Uh, and also a brand new costume. So give me a second to choose a costume and everything. I want her as my new companion. All right, here we go, boys. I managed to do it. Uh, it took me a while to figure things out. Which costume I wanted for her. Picked up this costume right here. Uh, legendary, bounty hunter, whatever. Uh, look at that. So Mandalorian, obviously a Mandalorian outfit for her. She looks quite nice. She also has the white on pink colors. So to fit her personality a little bit, boy. So why not? So she's got a little bit of white uh, armor stuff. To contrast with my black on uh, grayish armor. She's got some white in there. So that's pretty nice. I like her look quite a lot, boys. Look at that. I like her look quite a lot. Um, so I'm happy about that. We're going to go ahead and return now to Whispers of the Force. We're going to do that mission already. Uh, now that we've got our brand new partner, Mako, that she's, uh, that's back. Now, of course, maybe sometimes I'll use Shavisla because she's a really nice uh, companion. And she's got the Forger out of it. But uh, I really like the fact that I have Mako back. So I want to use her as much as possible. Now that all the important people are here, let's get down to business. Akavi, what have you got? Based on intelligence provided by Mandalore, I was able to narrow my search and scout potential suppliers to Hedda Cole and her group, the Hidden Chain. Hedda's targets, Outer Rim colonies and transports on the Rim of Trade route, point to powerful trade houses shutting down their competition with her guns. Those will likely be our suppliers. 
I have advised Jakaya Ordo and his Marshalling Mandalore's fleet as a precaution. You'll find everything I uncovered in my report. Okay, we'll get our analysts on that. Good work. What else have we got? We have a message from the Imperial Reclamation Service. An associate of Darth Rivix may have found a lead on the relic Malgus stole on Dantooine. Colonel Bardengola at your service. I've been asked to relay a high-priority message concerning records my team discovered during a recent assignment, which I'm also forwarding to you. These files are old. Very old. They almost went straight to central processing, but Darth Rivix has insisted that I personally comb through any new finds. I uncovered a cargo manifest that mentions a containment apparatus exactly like the one you described in your Dantooine Enclave report. Regrettably, many of the manifest details are illegible. We couldn't identify the relic Malgus stole, but we did learn that it belonged to a Sith named Darth Null. It isn't much, but I do hope this information can be of use. If the files from Colonel Gola are any indication, our allies in the Empire believe this lead could be the key to locating Darth Malgus. Darth Rivix reports that he's identified one of Null's holdings. Darth Krovos has deployed her own forces to investigate it. This is a waste of time. Are we being shut out? Well, let's help them if we can uh, then. Yeah, any way, uh, any help they can get, I guess, would be good. If there's any way the Alliance can help their search, let's do it. I do know a thing or two about digging up secrets, no matter how long they've been buried. I'm sure any assistance we provide will be greatly appreciated. But I believe our time would be best spent following up on this. What do you mean? What else do we got aside from the whole bounty hunter thing? What am I looking at? This is where Darth Null's relic was first discovered. There are not many who know this planet. It is in a dark region of wild space. A dangerous, untamed world. If your intention is to investigate the source of this relic, I will offer the assistance of the Force Enclave. Our people are more than capable of handling this. I appreciate it. Then it sounds like we all have our marching orders. Until next time. Alright, looks like the Force Enclave wants to help us retrieve or get some uh, retrieve information from that planet. Uh, we also have this going on right here. So we got to speak to her. She's uh, she wants to speak to us. So let's go ahead and uh, and see what this is all about right here. Brand new companion, I guess as well. If she's a you companion, I'm going to have to give her an armor. That's correct. I understand you recommended me for this mission. I appreciate the chance to help with Mandalore's hunt. We needed someone on the ground familiar with Mandalorian ways. You were right to send me. Those who supply Hedda Cole are paranoid and prone to disappear. It is only because I am Mandalorian that I got as close as I did. The suppliers are very much afraid of Hedda's wrath should they disappoint her, or worse, reveal any of her secrets. She's being very careful. Her ruthless reputation and a seemingly endless supply of credits from her raids means she can keep her secrets. Her suspected suppliers in my report are scattered across the galaxy. We find them, we hurt her. Well, suspected isn't confirmed. I need some confirmation. Otherwise, we're just wasting our time. You don't sound sure about your findings. I am not. I attempted to attach a tracking device to some of the shipments, but none made it past a security sweep. Pedicol has very strict instructions for any she does business with. How can your information be trusted, then? You can trust it's the best intelligence we have. Until Mandalore herself calls on me to strike her enemies down, I will continue this work. But I should get back to helping your analysts go through my report. I'm sure they're anxious to go through the details with you. Keep me informed. She is a Mandalorian after all, okay. I had a feeling she was because she had that armor on. Uh, she eventually, if she eventually becomes a companion or something, I'll switch her costume off. I want most of my companions to have a Mandalorian outfit. Obviously, because it is part of a clan, boys. I consider my character as a Mandalorian uh, as well. Even though the game might not consider him to be, uh, that. So, 
Legacy of the Sith is the next step. Let's start this shit up. So the Legacy of the Sith, boys, is actually the new expansion. It's the brand new expansion, as you can see right here. There it is. Cutscene as well. That's gonna be awesome. Let's do this shit. It's actually the new expansion, the real one this time around. Oh, there we go. We're getting a cutscene and everything, boys. Awesome. Focus, Sahar. difficult to accept but the force has chosen you <laughs> Telling you these cutscenes just keep getting better and better, boys. Now I've already seen that cutscene. Uh, I don't know if you guys, any of you, have already seen that cutscene. I've already seen it, obviously. If there's any other new cutscene for Star Wars: The Old Republic, I'm always gonna watch it and stuff. Uh, this is the brand new one, obviously. So I've already seen it, but uh, let's watch it again. I mean, it's such a good cutscene and everything, so I'll definitely watch it. Well done, young one. Now give it to me. You could have saved my brother. What? Was I chosen by the Force? Or you? Now's not the time. <laughs> Do you know what it is your master just destroyed? Sahar, listen to me. A machine built to find those the Jedi didn't deem. Worthy. Silence! Give it to me. Now, Padawan! It's not too late. Give me the plans. No! We can still find your brother. I've only ever protected you. You must trust me. No! No!
break free. Well, all right. We're about to have. Uh, I'm about to get demonetized severely, boys. Here we go. Getting demonetized for this shit. Here comes the tidal wave. New tidal wave, boys. Legacy of the Sith. We're starting right after the cutscene. Let's do this. The fate of the galaxy balances on the razor's edge. Uh, the Sith Empire and Galactic Republic, still consumed by the flames of war, viciously compete. For any advantage that can uh, secure victory. Yeah, well, it's always been like that, really. Uh, with vital resources in short supply, the Empire turns its gaze to Minan. An ocean planet overflowing with the indispensable but rare medical substance known as Koto. Oh, really? Uh, there, so we're going after Koto for some reason? Uh, Minan's exclusive people, the Silkov... Control the flow of Kulto with an uncharitable grasp. Determined to, to seize all Kulto for themselves, the Empire forces prepare for an invasion. Okay, so we t we seized Kul uh, Manan. I'm guessing the uh, Republic is interested in having uh, that planet as well. Uh, I do know about Manan. I, knew, I do know about most of the planets of Star Wars, to be honest. Very well versed in it, boys. Interesting that we're going there just for the culto though, just for the medical, uh, medicinal uh, stuff that they got. Very interesting, boys. I gotta tell you, it never gets old. The title screen and everything, the sound, the music, the way the cutscenes work. Star Wars never gets old for me, boys. It never gets old. Raven to nest. Raven to nest. I've got two Republic fighters on my tail. I can't shake them. Requesting backup. Look at who it is, boys. It's our old partner as well. I like her. That's one of the characters I like the most out of this game. This is Major Anri I absolutely Raven's love this girl, man. Come on, I need help She's a badass. <laughs> nice maneuver, though. Look at that. One hell of a maneuver. She's struggling though against the Republic. She's struggling big time. I don't know what she's gonna do. Yeah. She's in trouble, boys. Lost. Can anyone read me? I read you, Major. Loud and clear. I got you big time, my girl. I'm there for you. Here we go. Get rid of these suckers, boys. Protecting the Major right here, man. She's one of my favorites. Good thing you always know where the action is, Hunter. Keeps my hide out of trouble. What's the situation? Why were those fighters after you? See that dreadnought? Meet me there. We'll get you all caught up. We've got some catching up to do with her, man. It's been a while. I'm sorry, Mako. I got you a new costume and everything, but if I have to... If I can go with the Major... I'll go with the Major all day, every day, man. I'm excited to talk to her. She's one of my favorites uh, of all time for t terms of uh, game uh, games and stuff. She's really a, a, a really good character and stuff. I like her. Uh, meet Major Henry on the launch deck. Let's do this shit. Let's meet her, boys. Where's she at? Let me talk to her really quick. There you are. It's been a while. I need the rest of them ready to go in 10, Captain. Understood? Right away, Major. Why is there a bunch of Zabrax all of a sudden? There's a lot of Zabrax around. Organized a welcome party, but we need your help straight away. Uh, fill me in. Well, then let's get to it. Just tell me where to point my blaster. Easy. You know I admire your guts, but let's bring you up to speed first. Colonel Cord was running a pretty tight ship with this Colto operation. We dropped mining platforms right on the water. Real state-of-the-art stuff. 
Got everything up and running quick. Harvesting, refining, shipping. We were up to our necks in Colto. The Sailcat didn't even know what hit him. Until the Republic got a whiff of what was going on. Well, obviously. I want to talk to the boss, Colonel Coral. Why aren't you down there then? If things are going so well, what are you doing up here? Rounding up the cavalry. Once the Republic brought the big guns, the locals started to put up a fight. Some of the Selkath even got organized enough to take over our Colto refining station. That station was our base of operations, and now our people are stuck inside, including Colonel Cord. All our platforms are cut off from each other. Whole thing's a mess. If we want this operation back on track, first thing to do is kick the Selkath off our base, which I can't do alone. Could well, really anything for you, my there. girl. Anything you need. Anything at all. I'm yours. You really are too good to be true, aren't you? I've already given the order to ready as many troops on board as we can. Just need to get them down to the surface and... What now? What is this? Major Henry. We're, we're being the boarded? The first dropship we sent down. It was completely destroyed as soon as it entered Manan's airspace. Our scanners show it was Republic anti-aircraft weapons. Are the enormous guns mounted on this ISIL just for show? If you've got their weapons in your sights, take them out. We can't. Once we started the targeting sequence, their weapons disappeared from our instruments altogether. Wonder how they pulled that off. Damn it! Don't know what the Republic's playing at, but I'm not sending any more soldiers down until we find out. As long as those Republic dogs are helping the Selkath, our efforts on Manan are dead in the water, so to speak. Well, not on my watch. Not happening. We'll just have to get creative. All right. What are you thinking? We'll sneak down to Manan, just you and me, and retake your base. Yeah, just you and me. Stealth-wise, let's do this. looking for a small shuttle. They didn't shoot you down on your way off-world. Solid point. And once we take the Republic's fancy weapons out of the equation, we'll clear the way for reinforcements. You heard the plan, Vondrel? Hold down the fort up here. We'll signal when it's safe to deploy everyone else. It's great to have your help again. Now, let's show these kelp lovers what we're made of, yeah? Let's do this, my girl! Dropping down there, boys, by ourselves. Let's do this. Hopefully it's not a flashpoint because I need to stop the video soon, boys. I'll just have to restart it anyways. It doesn't matter. It's not a flashpoint. Nice. Okay, it's not a flashpoint. Uh, so, we're back with Major Henry, boys, as our companion. Nice. Can I switch off, though? Uh, I can't. Okay, so I am stuck with her, which is fine by me. Uh, Nothkorf invited you to join Cart. Why would I join the guild? No, decline. I'm not. I'm not gonna join this guild. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm not interested in that whatsoever. Uh, apparently, I don't have any guilds anymore. I'm not part of a, a, any guild. I think they kicked me out probably, because I've been. I, I stopped playing for an almost a year and a half, boys. So. It's been a while since I last played, so I, I understand why they would kick me out. But uh, I'll see you guys, I guess, in the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy this one. Keep it easy, boys.